Hello everyone, welcome to TechTube.com. In this lecture, we will be understanding unique function in SQL. Okay. In the last lecture, we understood exist function where the function returns true only if the inner query returns some tuple. Okay. So if some tuple exists for the inner query, the exist function will will return true. Okay. Similarly, here we have unique function. So in unique function, of course there will be some outer query. Okay. And then where condition fine and then unique and then in argument we will have some inner query right so here this unique function will return true only if this inner query will have unique tuples okay so if this inner query has some duplicate tuple as we already know that in SQL uh, the query can return duplicate tuples because the output is not a set right so it can have a duplicate tuple and if it has duplicate tuple this unique function will not return true okay fine so we have two points here first one is this unique function is a feature for testing whether a sub query this sub query has duplicate tuple fine and it will return true this entire function will return true only if the argument query which is which will be written here has unique tuple fine so let's see an example on this so the query is list down the name of professor who is advisor for student with same name okay so what i mean to say is we need to list down the name of professor for whom we have student with same names two student with same name let's say a uh, professor a is a guide for student two students having same name that is b and b fine so in that case we have to list down the name of professor fine so what will be the query we will write select select name from professor as p were not unique you can see i'm using not unique because in the question the condition is that we have to list down professors for whom there is no student or no student has common name right so we are using not unique okay then select name from student s where s dot s dot advisor equal to p dot eid okay so this inner query will return the name of the student for the advisor which is selected as p okay so if this has duplicate names okay let's say it has two name b and b okay then this unique function will return false okay and once this returns false we have not here so ultimately it will become true entire thing after where will become true and this professor will be selected okay understand it again what I'm saying is let's say for the first record from professor we have a okay so for this a we will find out the name of students who is guided by this professor a so here we are listing the name of students guided by professor a right s dot advisor equal to <coughs> dot eid fine now if we have two common names fine that is two students have same name then this unique function will return false once up to here we get false but we have not here okay so not false becomes true okay so this will become true and then as after this where the predicate is true so this a will be selected okay so that's how it works now we have few important point or just one important point basically so let's assume a condition or uh, if let's say inner query is giving some output like this that is name x and the value is null let's say we are 
here in select we are taking only one attribute but let's assume a condition or situation where we have two attributes we are listing two attribute okay and we are checking across two attributes so this is name this is null then this is again y this is something some value 2 this is again x and this is again null so now these two records this one and this one seems to be same right so this unique function should return false right but we have to know this and this is basically the importance of what I am mentioning so the most important point is that in case of null you cannot compare like this okay the simple point is that null not equal to null okay so when we are checking whether null equal to null it means simply means unknown we don't know whether null equal to null because null have different values uh, it may be unknown it may be the value missing okay so we cannot compare and we cannot say whether null equal to null or not okay so the result of this checking is simply unknown unknown okay and this unknown is not equal to false fine so these two tuples will be treated differently and this unique function will return true fine so we have to take care if in some situation we are taking uh, two or more than two attributes inside our inner query then and we have for that attribute we can have null value so if we have a situation where we have this kind of thing fine then this unique function will return true okay it will return true so this is one of the important point which I wanted to mention now I hope you understand unique function well if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section on techtoot.com and ask your doubt thanks for watching